Hey dolls and gents, I know I've been MIA for like a week. I am so sorry about that, but I'm coming back to you with a February favorites video. I feel like February went by so quick. I know that it's a shorter month than all of the rest of the months of the year, but it just seemed like it went by like this and it's starting to warm up. So spring is right around the corner, which I'm absolutely excited about. So if you want to see what made my February favorites, then definitely stay tuned guys. All right, we're first gonna start off with hair stuff. I don't think that I've ever discussed hair stuff in my beauty favorites videos, but I have to share these with you guys because I use it like every day and I would be lost without them. So the first product that I've been loving is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. And I use this on my hair extensions and my natural hair. It just really smooths out the hair, especially hair extensions and it just makes it look really good. It conditions the hair and it's perfect after or before you straighten the hair. It's amazing, I love this stuff. Next, I have been obsessed with this product for my edges and my edges are not all that great right now because I've had this product on all day and when I wash my face, some of it kind of did get off, but after you apply this, this is the Eben, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, 24 hold this is the ultra super hold and this stuff is bomb for laying your edges okay like seriously if you want your edges laid then you need this in your life okay and this is coming from someone who has tried like pretty much every single edge control and none of them work like they say that they're gonna work but this one is very inexpensive and it works so if you've been looking for edge control and you've tried them all and you have natural hair like me, check this one out and let me know if it works for you. When I'm wearing curly hair, I like my edges to be laid, but in a different way. So I normally like to use gel whenever I lay my edges when I'm wearing curly units. So I have been using this Gorilla Snot Gel. This one is the yellow one, which is called Punk. If you're following me on Snapchat, then you already have seen me talk about this. But if not, follow me on Snapchat. I will have my Snapchat right here. Go follow now. Matter of fact, I did this makeup tutorial on Snapchat as well. So you need to follow before you miss it because y'all know after 24 hours, that tutorial will be gone. Next, I am obsessed with my phone case and I have like so many plugs in my phone right now, but disregard that. This is a Kate Spade phone case and this just screams spring to me. I love the floral arrangements. I love the color. It's so feminine. It's so spring. I love it. Now let's get into some skincare products that I've been loving. I have been obsessed with this Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water. This one is the one that you have to shake up so that you can get its best properties because it does have two different solutions within it. But I absolutely love this for getting off my makeup, especially my eye makeup and my liquid lipsticks. This does it without having to like tug and rub on your eyes like crazy. So if you've been on the hunt for a new makeup remover, definitely check this bad boy out in your local drugstore. Another skincare product that I've been loving is by Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the Firm X Pilling Gel. I saw so many people do like YouTube demo videos on this product, and I was like, Ew, that looks like disgusting because basically you rub this gel on your face, you want to do it on dry skin, and you can see your dead skin like peeling up. It just looks like white balls all over your skin. And it's just insane the amount of dead skin that you have on your face without even like seeing it or knowing that you have it there. So if y'all want to see me do a demo video of this stuff, let me know. But I'm warning you, it is very nasty. And I'm pretty sure some of you are probably going to go type into YouTube search right now this product so you can see what I'm talking about. But seriously, this stuff is legit. Let's get into some makeup stuff. I have been loving this primer from Dr. Brent, and this is Pores No More. I used it today, and you seriously cannot see, like, any pores on my face right now my face looks so beat and I think it's because of this primer because I use one of the same foundations that I've used before but it's never looked like this flawless it looks bomb okay 
So I jumped on the bandwagon with this product, but it's well worth it. This is the Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Y'all know I have been obsessed, obsessed with dewy skin. And matter of fact, I need to spray some on my face right now because I want that dewy look. But this stuff, it just makes your skin feel refreshed and it just gives you that nice, luminous, dewy look. It's the bomb. I love this stuff. I've also been obsessed with this NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. I have been using pretty much three shades out of here. I use this concealing shade here, this contour shade, and also this orange corrector. And I love using this for my eyebrows. I love using this product here for my contour. So I contour my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and it's amazing. I always set it with a powder so it doesn't slip and slide. And then the orange corrector, you can use that underneath your eyes or anywhere where you have darkness on your skin. But this palette I think was under 12 bucks. I got it from Target and I just use it for so many things. So if you're on the hunt for something that you can conceal, correct, and contour with, check this bad boy out. For lashes, I have been loving the Lashaney Lashes. This is a UK-based lash company, and I am wearing the lashes right now. This particular style is royalty, and oh, these lashes look like so freaking bomb. You've got to check them out. I've also been obsessed with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and this mascara is bomb for your bottom lashes. I will show y'all what the wand looks like. It really helps to lengthen the lashes and it adds so much darkness because this is a super black mascara and it also adds a little bit of volume which I've been loving. So the last product that I want to talk about, I'm so sad. I feel like this video was short but it's not really short. I'm just like obsessed with talking about beauty products but y'all know that because y'all have been following me, right? And if you're not, Go follow, go subscribe, like now. What are you waiting for? Anyways, I have been loving the Anastasia Glow Kit. If you want that highlight, if you want that pregnancy glow without that pregnancy, definitely check out this palette. This one is for like tan to deeper skin tones, but I swear every single shade in this, if you are of a deeper skin tone, you can rock this. Believe that because I have wore pretty much every shade on my face and I love it. Right now, I am not wearing this, but I've been wearing it almost every day. I'm obsessed with bubbly and dripping in gold. I use these two like the most, but right now on my cheekbones, I have on So Hollywood. I've been obsessed with that lately too, but I was definitely wearing these two highlighters just about every day in February. So those are my February beauty favorites. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.